What's up guys, it's Sebastian so th one here, and we're back with more Bravely Default Flying Fairy. Last time, we, uh, we found some layers of, of very, very strong corruption. And before we did anything, we did, um, what was I looking for? Uh, we did go to find out that the water in Anchheim is sold by a profiteer. We went over to, um, to get some, but then we were told we must go to the Oasis if we want to drink. So we did, finding out that the townspeople have to go there because they can't afford the water. And when they go there, they're, they're robbed by thieves. So we went to go stop the thieves, killing the leader. And, um, to find out that the, the thieves were actually hired by the profiteer. So we went back to the profiteer. Stopped him, killed him, and before we left, Ringabelle found a piece of paper showing some deceit. Before we could do that, we went over to the Temple of Wind, found out that we need the Vestal's of the uh, the Vestal's garb to be fixed because it's destroyed and overly holy. And while Tiz and Ringabelle would love to see that, <clears throat> mostly Ringabelle, um, she can't use that. She needs it to be whole. So. We're going to go towards Yuliana Woods. But before we do that, it's too thick. Press any deeper, and it'll crush our lungs. We'll not make it through these woods without some better plan. I just wanted to show that because that's it's nice that they voiced that. We're gonna go take the airship. Yuliana <clears throat> Woods Needleworks. Yes. This cutscene's by the way, by the way this long. familiar. It's been ages, but this is it. We were here. The mother Vestal, I, and Olivia. Was that strange, distant groaning here then, too? Or am I the only one who's thoroughly unsettled right now? You're not alone. The lack of women here is positively chilling. Though it seems someone lives here. Hello? Is anyone there? I thought I heard something. This place draws few visitors, I fear, and me fewer still. So, to whom do I owe this pleasure? I am Agnes Oblige, sir. Vestal of Wind. <laughs> Little Agnes, is it? Oh, you have grown, child. You were scarce more than a little sprout when your predecessor brought you here. Now look at you. A fine woman you've become. Fine and plump and <laughs> pleasantly jiggly. <laughs> Ugh, lovely. It's a geriatric ring -a bell Then you are indeed the sage I seek. I fear I do not remember your name, sir. <laughs> oh, we are a lot alike in that, my dear. Not many people around these parts to call me by it. Whatever it was. Sage will do just fine by me. It is what the last Vestal called me. At her heels, you. Sage, Sage, you'd call. A more charming little echo I've never heard. Well, I am glad to have found you. Feels rather good to hear a pretty young thing like you was looking for me. Seems I've not quite lost my charm. Now, you called yourself Vestal. I take it that means the last Vestal is... Yes, sir. 
Her tenure as Vestal ended five years ago. Her life, a year later. I see. A sad loss for all of us. She was fair but firm. Very firm. She had taut curves fit to drive a man mad. We shall be needing an in-depth account, good sage. Also, a briefing on any wild women of the woods. Stop talking. Just stop. You've quite the following, my dear. I had thought the Vestals forswore all contact with the outside world. These are... they are assisting me in my task. Oh, assistance, eh? I see. <laughs> oh, and such colorful characters they are. I've kept you out here long enough. Come inside. I see. Well, that's quite the story. You've been brave to come this far, Agnes. I'd not have managed on my own. I owe Tis a great debt. Hmm. Well, uh, perhaps it is we've come to the harrowing. The harrowing? The swelling dark is a harbinger, lad, as is the fall of the temples, the dulling crystals, the great chasm. It is the Vestal's calling to see that darkness purged. I must awaken the four crystals. Awaken them? Absolutely astonishing! Huh? What? I took the liberty of stealing a peek at the ladies' fashions you've assembled in the next room, good sir. Each is a beauty fit to outshine the next. Their allure had me spellbound. Spellbound, I tell you. <laughs> I'm impressed a man of your scant years can properly appreciate them. I would gladly talk the night away with a man of your genius. They're a matched pair. Ring a bell, please. We're in the middle of an important discussion. As am I, my friend. This is art, romance. You'll come to understand in a few years. And as I recall, we didn't come here to talk. We came to procure Vestal garb as quickly as possible. While you were chatting, I searched. My efforts bore unexpected fruit, that's all. <laughs> so, you've come to me because of your need for new vestments, have you? Rainbow thread. No substitute will suffice. And is this thread something you keep on hand? I fear not, my dear. I think dear. the audio just died there the for a second. The vessel to wear the garb must procure the thread herself. <laughs> it is tradition. The last Vestal of Wynne did so, as did her predecessor and countless Vestals before. Even had I the thread used to craft the last Vestal's garb, I could not fashion it into aught of use to you. I understand. Tell me where I must go. Of course, my child. But come, the day is nearly spent. Stay the night. Oh, yes, if you girls would like, I would be happily obliged to make space in my own bed for you. Oh, unacceptable. Likewise. Then let the two of us pass the night in ardent conversation.
Good morning. Slept well, I trust? Idea, was it? How about making a nip of breakfast now for an old man, eh? What? Why should I cook for you? Because a young beauty's home-cooked meal is far more appetizing than anything I might make myself, of course. Given her upbringing, I've grave doubts the Vestal could boil water, let alone cook. That leaves you. Food can wait, Sage. Now the location of the rainbow thread, if you please. And yes, jealous are you? <laughs> oh, that's adorable. The location of the rainbow thread, if you please. Huh. You're no fun at all. Very well, then. I prepared a light meal while you were sleeping. Eat before you go. You'll find the rainbow thread very deep in a cave that is far west of here. I shall mark it upon your map. I'm gonna nip a breakfast for an old man. Ha! <laughs> he cooks just fine. Quite. There's nothing especially fancy or out of the ordinary, but it went down fine. I thought it was actually really good. Likewise, I wonder why he would want wanted you to cook for him, India. All alone out here in the woods, maybe he missed the taste of the big city. Oh, when you put it that way, I feel bad for saying no. What sort of food, food do you like to cook, India? Hmm. I haven't cooked enough to have a specialty or anything, but if I had to pick something, make a mean jam and butter omelet. Beg your pardon? Or whipped chestnut and sweet potato toast. Uh. <clears throat> have you ever tried marshmallow incandescent milk risotto? I don't know, but it sounds sweet. Painfully so. Yep, yeah, mother and father were left speechless by its amazing deliciousness. And we have to move some up for you next time. Right, next time. <laughs> oh, that's so good. So the the fox here, he actually is the one to sell you all the shit here. Including magic. And trader goods. I forgot you can't talk to the pig. And I believe you have to go around. Investment cave. Ugh, what a dank, wretched place. Who knows what's lurking inside? Are we certain we'll find this thread in here? I wouldn't put it past that sage to be pulling our leg. A slippery old fox, that one. Said the slippery young fox. The sage has aided Vestals in their service for at least two generations. Let us trust in him for now. Then we've no reason to stand around debating. Let's press on. Now, if I remember, this place is very straightforward. Very, very few uh, uh, winding paths and divergences.
Ah, our first instance of a, of a blue chest. I don't know if we have... Yeah, I don't think we have it yet. I think it's a key item in this game. I was thinking of, um... Nino Kuni. To be fair, I have played Dino Cody uh, sooner than this. It's been years since I played this. Oh, I got baited. Oh, you know what that means. Ah, look there. Is that the rainbow thread? Oh, it's lovely. I'm shocked we actually found it here. Now, let's collect it and be quit of this place. Uh, wait, we're not alone. A monster? Drago. Hmm. I'm gonna hope she's faster. Nope, she's not. Well, that was quick. Now, I use a special ability there. I use 20% of my HP. Well, that was a surprise. No one said anything about a monster! Did the old man know about this? If he knew and didn't tell us, he's awful! That would be lying! How could he put the Vestal in danger? Without her, who would perform the rites? Be calm, Mary. Perhaps this was a trial of sorts. A test of my resolve and skill as Vestal. Regardless, we found what we came for. Let's return with the thread. You, you can see, uh, 
my health took a 20% hit even though I didn't get hit at all. That's because I used an ability and it took away 20% of my HP to do a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Alright, let's... Time magic. Teleport. That's, that's an L. Back in one piece, are you? Very impressive. Then you did know! A word of warning might have helped you, old lech! It's been so long since I set about crafting Vestal Garb, <laughs> I'd completely forgotten. I believe you were in a hurry? I'll begin straight away. All the haste in the world won't see it done before tomorrow. Make yourselves at home till then, hmm? <sighs> Agnes? What's the matter? Trouble sleeping? Sir, do you remember this pendant? I've treasured it like a good luck charm since I was a child. Ever since the day you gave it to me. Hmm, that brings me back. I remember it well, child. I'm pleased you've held on to it all this while. It gives me strength. In dark times, I would pray to it, talk to it, and the stone would lend me courage. Keep it close and keep it safe. Someday it may serve you better still. <sighs> and the other girl? The one who was with me when last I was here. Do you remember her? Oh, little Olivia. Yes. She serves now as the Vestal of Water. Sir, have you heard anything of her? Is she safe? The world's oceans began to fester the same day the darkness took the wind crystal. It's the crystal of water that sustains the seas. I fear... I fear the same fate has struck the Temple of Water. Or worse. I need to know if Olivia is safe. But I haven't the means or the time to seek her out. I'm afraid I know no more than you. All I can say is that she's not come to this place. I see. Tell me, child, would you care to share what else is on your mind? Oh. I'm uncertain. Until a few days ago, I lived a hermit's existence, sequestered in the temple, surrounded by acolytes. I knew nothing of the world outside, know nothing of it still. How can I be sure in the face of that ignorance? How can I know that the path I walk is the right one? Hmm. Recent years have seen the people's hearts and minds turn from the crystal orthodoxy, its practices are all but forgotten. Yet even still, they regard the crystals and the vestals who tend them with an innate reverence. Carry out your duty and keep faith, my child. Therein lies the path the vestals show to all humanity. But I... I'm still so weak. 
Compared to the Mother Vestal, I lack in everything. I could not stop the dark from swallowing up the crystal. I cost those women their lives. And all the world's people, kings and commoners alike, their eyes bore into me, whether in expectation or disappointment. The weight is crushing. My shoulders are not broad enough to bear the weight of it. The hopes and fears of an army of strangers I've never so much as seen before. They frighten me. I am unfit to show them the way forward. I barely trust my legs to carry myself alone. But they have. Despite the blame and fear, you fought this far for the world and its people. Your fight is a noble one, just and right, and beyond any reproach. But now the time has come to set others upon that path, guide them to follow in your steps. Just as the Vestals have ever drawn upon the crystal's light to illuminate the way forward for all mankind, so must you. Words are powerful things, my child. The Vestals' words doubly so. They are a force capable of driving man to action, of sustaining him in times of need. You've walked your path for humanity's sake. Your love of this world has been your fuel. Now let your words be theirs. Share your path with them. They'll decide for themselves whether to follow or not. The world will choose as it may. But if you open your heart and point the way, you'll ignite a spark of hope within the hearts of countless men and women. Hope? You sound like Tis. Oh? Already begun lighting those sparks, have you? <laughs> You'll reach them, child. Speak and your words will find a home. Then I had best choose them wisely. You're every bit the wonder I imagined. It really suits you, Agnes. Whether it suits me or not is of little importance. These vestments are a tool, and their purpose strictly ritual. But thank you. Phew! <laughs> a night's work feels like seven at my age. I thank you for your sacrifice, Sage. Your efforts will see the winds return. Oh? If you really cared to thank me, you'd plant a kiss on my cheek. Ah, oh, you're shameless. Is that another tradition surrounding the creation of the Vestal Garb? No! It's the sad fantasy of a lecherous little toad. What? Unacceptable! <laughs> I do love a girl with a firm touch. Come back any time you need of me. I'll do all I'm able. Thank you, Sage. Now, back to the temple. All right. Just a moment, Tiz. Hmm? What is it? Hmm? Something wrong? Nothing at all. This is a matter between men, my dear. Uh-huh. Now, where was I? Ah, uh, Tiz. Last night, I chanced to awaken and notice you and Honest were absent from your beds. What's more, you took your time coming back. Anything you care to confess, old chap? 
Just what trouble does a stick in the mud like you get up to? What? That's none of your business! Oh, come on, out with it, all of it. Every last sordid, juicy, scandalous morsel. Out! I woke up and saw she wasn't in her bed. Yes, yes, then what? I got to the bed to look for her. Right, right, sensible enough, go on. Gets to the good part. I heard the sewing machine running, so I went to the Sage's workspace and found them talking. What? Talk about a term for the boring. He listened to what he was on what was on her mind and offered some her some offered her some advice. I promised myself to do a better job of helping her too. Hmm, yes, alright, so is that it then? That's it. What do you expect? We're only gone for maybe 15 minutes. Besides, why were you up? Hmm, me? Uh, you know. Anyway, I ended off after a few minutes after uh, watching Dia sleep. Yeah. Alright, enough whispering. Just what is it, you two? Hmm, nothing. <clears throat> nothing at all. As I said, it eh, is. <laughs> ah, that ring a bell. You are a... Lovable chap. Of course, before we go into the Wind Temple, we are going to heal up at the end. Also, I'm going to see if it's a knight. I'm pretty sure it's not open yet. The mark isn't on the map. Nope. Oh, I was already healed. I'm dumb. I forgot. It's fine. I have the money to burn. It's not like I'm gonna buy items. Well, not items. I might buy items, but I'm probably not gonna buy fucking armor or equipment. Save. Your. Game. The air's grown even more stagnant. It feels almost... malicious. I might be sick. Wait. Something's here. <gasps> no! A monster's taken hold of the crystal! Orthros! The beast from the scriptures? Bringer of doom. Now what? It stands between us and the crystal's awakening. Then I don't suppose we've much choice. Oh boy. So, you can gonna get a deal of how this guy works. He's got a fire head and he's got a nice head. Hmm? You can attack either head. So... Obviously we don't need to do that, but... That's it! Hahaha! <laughs> You gotta love being overpowered as shit, don't you? It's over. Somehow. Just how long has that thing been inside the crystal? The details can wait. First comes the Rite of Awakening. I'll second that. I'm in no state to deal with any of that beast's friends right now. Hurry, Agnes! You need to get ready! Right. I'm ready.
pretty airy. Then let's review how the rite works one last time. I'm to focus my prayers on the crystal, yes? Right. That will naturally align your breathing with the crystal's rhythm. Your life force will stir it awake. That will return the crystal to its normal state. But you mustn't stop there. Keep praying! If you excite the crystal to just short of the breaking point, then release that energy all at once, its effects will spread far and wide. There are a few important things to remember, though. First, you are not to stop until I say. The flow of energy into the crystal could reverse. At its worst, that could be fatal. Second, once I give the signal, you have to stop immediately. Any further, and this time, it'll be the crystal that breaks. I understand. Last, everyone needs to keep their distance and stay absolutely silent. The right places a huge burden on the Vestal, physically and mentally. But even if she seems to be in pain, you can't come near her or the crystal, no matter what. What do you mean a huge burden? Is there any danger to Agnes? There's nothing to worry about. I'll be right here watching to make sure of that. Now, everyone but Anya, step back. All ready to begin? Ready. Okay, I'll stop. Did it work? The Rite of Awakening was a great success! You were amazing, Anyas! I never dreamed it'd go this well! Oh, good. Now the wind should... return. That was supposed to happen then? My heart nearly stopped. I thought something had gone wrong and the whole thing was exploding. I'll bet they saw that flash from Anshon. That light. I feel as if I've seen that light before. Your memories return? No, just... I can't see it clearly. But I remember a hand reaching out through the light. A woman's hand. There he goes again. Are you all right, Agnes? Anything we can do? I'm fine. Thank you. Oh, look, look! One of the gems on my brooch is shining! That's proof of the Wind Crystal's release! Then the entire brooch will look like that? Once we've finished with all four crystals? That's right! Only three to go! Three more times. Well, for now, let's head back to town. The wind should be returning, right? The wind ought to return now. I'm sure the people of Anshan will be happy. Yes, with the wind return, the kingdom can go back to its former peaceful days. Let's hurry back and report. I want to see that lousy king squirm. I'm still mad at what he did to you before, Anyas. Mark my words, he's black as they as tar. You'll agree with me, thee. don't you? You have to. All of us are so sad of seeing the world in terms of black and white, idea. Our task was to awaken the wind crystal, and so we have. There's nothing to do with making anyone squirm. Just watch, though. 
I bet he'll try to make everyone work just as hard, even with the wind back. What? But that's not... Still, isn't it better if we headed him off before he gets the chance? Head him off how? Step one is making it darn clear that Anya's brought the wind back. And how do we do that? Talk is cheap. We show them proof. Ah. My health is still down, though. Wait, did Anya's take damage? They all took damage? From what? It's fine. Oops. Oops. Still strange because no one else did a damage and the monster didn't attack us. streets seem noisy to anyone else? Ah, oh, over there. It's the Weasel King. Hearken to me, my children. After abandoning our kingdom to its fate, the Vestal then came slinking back to these borders to beg my forgiveness. And forgive her I did, for I saw not to be gained from excoriating a girl for her egregious failures. My clemency was met with willful pride. She promised to return the wind to motion single-handedly. Yet, what has come of it? Nothing will save the southern sky set ablaze with a malefic light. The Vestal failed to restore the wind and brought still greater calamity upon our heads. As proof, look no further than the stagnant air around you. I can but blame my own wishful ignorance for this latest turn of events. I ought never have entrusted this matter to a relic of a bygone era. The Crystal Orthodoxy is a dream of the past, the Vestal obsolete. Her inability to ensure the Crystal's function is manifest. Join me, my people! Let us rely upon the Vestal no longer! It is our own efforts that will see this kingdom saved. The labor service is your sacred duty, your pride as citizens. All who work beyond 20 hours a day will receive a royal commendation. And in the wake of this tribulation, Ansheim will emerge a new land. Our new history begins now! Wait! What? Uh, the Vestal? Worry no longer, people of Ansheim! I have just awakened the Crystal of Wind! Lying witch! Then why does the air remain still? It's true. There's no wind. The Grand Mill isn't turning! The King may be right. <gasps> Don't be afraid. The footsteps you've carved will be a guide to these people, Agnes. They just need a light to show the way. A spark of hope. Please, give me the courage. I ask that you listen! The winds that washed over this land without end for so long stopped! A vast darkness split the earth in the kingdom of Kaldisla! An entire village was devoured! The seas fester! Fish wash up upon our shores, twisted and lifeless! Even ships are unsafe from this corrosion! All the world's people all life is crying out in pain! Your suffering is mirrored in every corner of existence! I was dispatched by His Majesty to leave these borders and survey the damage firsthand! 
My conclusion is absolutely certain. The four crystals have been clouded over with a powerful darkness. On my return, I found the crystal of wind in the clutches of a terrible monster. Its influence had sealed away the crystal's light entirely. <coughs> you reward our patience with fabrications and fantasy. Utterly ridiculous. This is no fantasy. The beast fell before me and my companions. I present this to you as proof. Those chains! The chains that circled the beast Orthros! The Tempest Braid? That can't... It's only a legend! A story from the old crystal of scriptures! But here they are! The Vestals brought us Tempest Braid! Then... Then Orthros was no legend! And the Vestals slain it! Preposterous! The chains are fake! Like your ridiculous story! There's still no wind! The wind is coming! Two thousand years the Vestals have prayed! Their lives have been the Crystal's nourishment! And now... Now they feed the wind! It's... She's right. The wind... The wind has returned! Ah, the winds are back! The Grand Mill, it's turning! I've reached them. Of course you did. And they love you for it. They found new hope in your words. You were amazing, Agnes. And Vestals are a force for good. That speech struck any doubt from my mind. Naturally, I knew it from the moment I first saw you. They're all calling out to you. Go on and answer them. I don't... You're a savior to the kingdom, Lady Vestal! A savior to all of us! And at such a young age, the Vestals are a blessing upon this world! Forgive us for failing to aid you when the wind stopped. We were lost! Please, continue to guide the winds and this nation's people. Lead and we will follow! I thank you all, but I fear I cannot stay. The shadow of danger has been driven from Anchime, but darkness persists elsewhere in the world. I must join with the other Vestals and see that all mankind is ransomed from this terrible threat. That is my duty as a Vestal of the Crystals. It pains me to leave your side again so soon. I ask your patience. And your forgiveness. <laughs> she grieves not just for Anchime's pain, but that of all the world. We thought only of her own misfortunes, but the Vestal... Lady Vestal! Know that you go with all our prayers. Please help them. Help the others as you've helped us. Be strong, Lady Vestal! <sighs> I thank you. Your faith moves me beyond words. I shall see this task complete and then return to you, I swear. Uh, what perverse farce is this? This cannot be so. I shall not be undone by a, a, a child. I am king, king, and a king does not forget his enemies. Ah! <laughs> The wind returns. Yes, the wind is back. Just look at the sky. The clouds are practically racing along. Mmm, that breeze feels incredible. That Lisa, after a job well done. All of Yan Chen's people were so thankful. One girl said thanks to the wind, her father is able to come home again. Her we can all eat as a family again. 
Now we can fly kites. You should have seen the kids' grins. All oh, the skirts are ruffling in the breeze. Makes me feel alive. Jeez, I wonder who said that. <laughs> in any case, we got the wind in our back now. Departing already, Lady Vestal? Forgive me. I am Prime Minister Dominus Harina. Your words to the people shook me to my core. Between you and me, I suspect they rattled the king's cage as well. He looked positively deflated. Small wonder. Having his little speech so thoroughly derailed must have been a blow to his royal ego. It will recover, though. It always does. Meanwhile, where will you go from here? To Florum, land of radiant flowers and the water crystal. I see. But how will you manage the journey with seas unnavigable? The inner sea was spared by some merciful stroke of fate, but no port or sandy shore exists on the Florum side. You might travel by land, but the forests along the way are suffused with a noxious fog. The path is most dangerous. Seems we're blocked on all sides. Any ideas? No. But the sage of the Yuliana woods may know some way. Then it's to the airship and to Yuliana and beyond. Say the word, Agnes, and I shall lend wings to your every whim. Just to Yuliana, please. Uh, leave it to the Prime Minister. He thought of everything. Mm, what did he give us? It's a piece of paper. Great. Don't be silly, my angel. This is a bill of goods. They've sent the ship to the ship later. First off, there's the food. He's arranged for bread, cured meat, salted grass beans, fruit, celery, green turnips, two barrels of pickled pink, uh, eggplant, clock tower brand, fire sauce. Then a barrel of Anchise most tooth rotting desserts. They do like their sugar. There's at least two weeks provisions here. Past food, there's ah birthing permission for the Estuad. That'll come in handy and handy. We can take on water, oil, even ammunition. Truly, the man is a bureaucratic bureaucratic wizard. Sounds like we'll have a little part party waiting for us at the ship. Party, we must make for a floor as soon as possible. Well, as soon as possible is at least half a day from now, given the time to load all this. Right. I think we earned at least as much of a rest. Let's enjoy it while we can. But we're not done. No, 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 no. We still have unfinished business in this town. Uh, we're not ending this episode just yet. Let's wait for night. Because now, the marker is on the map. See? So now that tells me we're open to it. I know we're getting close to time, it's 53 minutes I believe, uh, from what my timer says, but I'm going to get this done now. Okay, it should be good now. It's night. Yes, he's gone. These were the cranks. Hey, it opened! Seems this is the spot mentioned in that memo we found. Grand Mill Works. Should be fairly simple to get through there. Go that way. 
There's two set of stairs. Now, I remember this place is kind of windy. Yeah, I went down the wrong path. Phoenix down, I'll take that. For those who don't know what a Phoenix down does, it's basically what it does in Final Fantasy. It revives anyone who's in a KO state. While we don't need that right now, it's helpful to have in the future. Sorry. So this one. Locked. Alright, we got one set of the gears. We need to get both sets. Which, as you can see, there's an easy way to get to. This should be it. Okay. You know what that means. This, this is the royal palace. Shh, someone's coming. Blast it! Blast it! Blast it all! Calm down. How do you expect me to be calm? This is all the fault of that girl! From the moment the vessel returned, every cog in my plans is spun out of place. 
and the merchantry. Their incompetent profiteur's failures threatened to bring everything crashing down. And after the lengths I went to in giving him all he could possibly need, and for what? A net negative. Time and again, that oil-slick little rat assured me all was going to plan. And like a fool, I trusted him with everything. With claiming the wells, inflating the price of water, that bungled arrangement with the thieves, I gave the merchantry free reign. The plan was sound. Have the merchantry cut off the water supply, eroding the people's resolve. Mandate heavy labor, for the good of the kingdom, of course, to sow further dissent. Ansheim was a powder keg. Any spark would do. Some trifling grievance to turn the brunt of all that build-up frustration on the Vestal. The Orthodoxy's lingering hold on the people's hearts and minds would be broken, and the age of anti-crystallism would begin. As well it must! The unwashed masses' superstitious love of the crystals is an iron weight holding mankind back from true progress. Only by dashing to the ground their faith in these stones and the vestals can my vision for Ansheim's advancement be realized. A glorious new era is right before our eyes. It was so nearly within reach, and now my plan is ruined. Why, Kent? How has this happened? Now the rabble will listen to none but the Vestal. Oh, it's a complete disaster. I should never have relied on an ignoramus like Profiteur. My plan was perfect. That reliance on your scheming was the reason it failed. Meanwhile, the Vestal speaks without a thought in her head. There's your why. The question was rhetorical, Spellfencer! But very well. If finesse has failed, so be it. I'll kill the girl and lay claim to the crystal. <laughs> With that done, the winds will be at my fingertips. I can power the turbines or control the miasma as I see fit. Your Highness is ever the optimist. Are you so confident this new plan will fare better, Time Mage? It must! The people must be shown that the Vestal has no place in my new reign, or in the future of Ansheim! Unacceptable. Please disgrace your crown no further. What? This isn't... How are you here? Regardless, I am here. I heard everything. Seems this scandal goes all the way up. I knew you were an unpleasant man. But this is outright evil. For a king to wish suffering on his own people? This cannot stand! Hmm. And just... Just what did you supposedly hear? What new slander is this? You're a poor actor, King. You have some proof, then? Some evidence to show that I made these comments? Ha! He's like a child caught in a lie. No, of course no such proof exists. I know you lot are plotting to tear me from the throne, but it won't work. It won't. As it happens, we do have proof. But I don't expect we'll have need of it. Ask yourself this. Given your word against the Vestals, which do you think the people will believe? Uh. Have you no shame? No sense of duty to those you rule? You! You! This is all you're doing, Vestal. If you weren't here, none of this would... Yes! You can't be here any longer. Can't be anywhere, in fact. Your final silence will be the fanfare that heralds my renewed reign. It seems the man's beyond remorse. Spellfencer Sigma Kent, 
Name your price. Empty the kingdom's coffers if you like. Whatever it takes, I want these vermin dead! I pick my clients for their pocketbooks, not their moral fiber. I'll not grow scruples now. You have a deal, King. For as long as your riches hold. Let's fuck his face open, huh? However, I did not heal. I'm an idiot. Oh well. to earn another coin. No reason. Kent! This isn't happening! Is there no one else? I'll give my throne to no one! No one! You know, I should have let his normal attack there. Because I, but there was a little dialogue thing that we missed where Tiz asked, uh, asked um, Kint, are you going to run away this time? And Kint says no. But it's fine. We just, we just wrecked his face. Just destroyed it. Spell fencer! So all it does is let you use fire or any, not fire, any spell ability with your sword and it applies it to your physical attacks. So yeah, it's, it's a nice ability. It's, it's very helpful. <clears throat> and the time mage. Oops, booped cable. So, Time Mage is what you think. It increases your speed, has its own destructive powers. It's very helpful in very buffing and debuffing. Anya is, actually has this as a sub ability. I see. I regret my failure to see through his med... the former king's misdeeds. It seems the people of Ansheim are once more in your debt, Lady Vestal. On their behalf, I thank you. Where will the kingdom go from here? How will it function in the absence of its king? I will take up the mantle of governance for the time being, though that is no lasting solution. Ansheim will have to change. With luck, it will become a land led by its people for the benefit of all. What is certain is that it will ever be a welcome home to you and your companions, Lady Vestal. We will pray for your safe journey. Go and bring your light to all the world. Now, I can say we are done here. I believe. Just make sure. And yeah. We're still weak. Yeah, we're still weak. So, that being said, we are now done in Anchime. Anchime is complete. Uh, we are going to head off here, sleep at the end. And next time on Bravely Default, we will start heading our way towards the Miasma for well, not Miasma Forest, to Yuliana to figure out how to get through the Miasma Forest, and then head on to our next city, Florum. See you guys next time.
let's just save. See you guys then. It'd help if I hit yes. See you guys then, <laughs> for real. <laughs>